In this kayak fishing trip, I catch this striped bass using a frozen mackerel head on the circle hook as bait. Let me show you what I did. It's the morning of Labor Day weekend on 2019. I paddle out to the mouth of the harbor, and there I decide to put uh, one of these frozen mackerel heads uh, I've got from my freezer on a circle hook, and I cast it out and let it float, float freely to search for striped bass. While it's doing that, I try to use my sabiki rig to catch some live mackerel for bait. I only catch one small pollock, so I decide to um, go and troll the frozen mackerel head by some of my favorite rocks. It's always key to have some fresh bait, so every 20 to 30 minutes I switch to a new mackerel head. These mackerel heads are great. You can cast them into a feeding, cast them nearby your favorite rocks, troll them, or weigh them down to sink them to the bottom of the ocean. This is great footage. Uh, I actually just took a break. I've got my fishing rod behind me in a scupper hole and you can hear the line peeling as the striped bass takes the bait and starts to pull on the line and the drag engages. Once I hear that, I hesitate for a moment, but then I decide to paddle out to the ocean to give some distance between me and the waves breaking on the rocks uh, to just make sure that I can fight this fish uh, safely. Then I grab the fishing rod from behind me and start to fight the fish. So here in this scene, you can see the tension on the rod. I'm using a uh, ugly stick Shakespeare rod and a pen battle to reel. I'm, I've been experimenting with the tension on the, on the drag. Uh, they say you're supposed to use 20 to 30% of the test line. Um, so this test line is 20 pound test. So it should be about four to five pounds. Uh, it's supposed to be like that so that um, the line doesn't break when the fish needs to peel off. And also, uh, having some um, leeway with the drag, the line's not too tight so it doesn't tear the lip of the fish. These mackerel heads are great. They were frozen, but once they're in the salt water, they start to melt and the blood starts to attract some of the fish nearby. The mackerel heads are also uh, aerodynamic, so when you're trolling, uh, they, they swim freely behind you and it's less likely to go catch in the seaweed. So here you see the lucky mackerel head still attached to the line and the fish starting to break the water. I leave a uh, rod length of line so I can safely land the fish. I use a fish grip to lock the lower jaw of the fish Stripe while I remove nice. the circle hook. And then I measure the fish against my paddle. Here in Massachusetts, the limit is 28 inches. Uh, this fish was one or two inches short of that, so I'd estimate it was about 26 inches long. Here I'm pa practicing CPR, catch, photo, and release. I've actually got two GoPros, one in front of me and one on my chest, so I can take two quick photos while I'm performing CPR on the fish. And now I'm uh, getting ready to release the fish back into the ocean. Uh, because the fight wasn't too long and the CPR is quick, uh, this fish was in good shape. It didn't need, need any reviving, but sometimes if the fight's long and there's some lactic acid in the <laughs> nice. fish, you have to take some time to revive it. Here's some footage of the fish swimming away. So that was awesome. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. Share any tips you have for using frozen mackerel heads in the comments below. I made it back home for breakfast. I had uh, baked fish omelet, pancakes, and coffee. Thanks for watching.